even iron can put forth. Even iron. This is the iron age. But let us take heart. See the iron break and bud. See the iron puff with clouds of blossom. The almond tree. December's bare iron hook sticking out of earth. The almond tree that knows the deadliest poison like a snake in supreme bitterness. Upon the iron and upon the steel, odd flakes as if of snow, odd bits of snow, odd crumbs of melting snow. But you mistake, it's not from the sky, from out the iron and from out the steel, flying not down from heaven, but storming up strange storming up from the dance under earth, along the iron to the living steel, in rose-hot tips and flakes of rose pales setting supreme annunciation to the world. Nay, what a heart of a delicate super faith, iron breaking, the rusty swords of almond trees. Trees suffer like races, down the long ages, they wander and are exiled, they live in exile for long ages, like drawn blades, never shift, hugged and gone black, the alien trees in alien lands, and yet the heart of blossom, the unquenchable heart of blossom, look at the many sacrificed frail vine, none more scared and frail, yet see him fling himself abroad in fresh abandon from the small wound stump. Even the willful, obstinate gummific tree can be kept down, but he'll burst like a polyp into prolixity. And the almond tree in exile in the Iron Age. This is the ancient southern earth when the vases were baked, amphoras, craters, comforas, ironcoia, and open-hearted silix, bristling now with the iron of almond trees, iron but unforgotten, iron dawn-hearted, ever beaten dawn heart, enveloped in iron against the exile, against the ages. See, it come forth in blossom from the snow-remembering heart in the long night in January, in the long dark nights of the evening star and Sirius, and the Etna snow wind for the long night, sweeten his drops of blood for the long night in Gethsemane, into blossom, into pride, into honey triumph, into the most exquisite splendor. Oh, give me the tree of life in blossom, and the cross brooding its superb and fearless flowers. Something must be reassuring to the almond, in the evening star, and the snow wind, and the long, long nights. Some memory of far, some gentle lands, so that the faith in his heart smiles again, and his blood ripples winnable delight of one small vindicated faith, and the Gethsemane blood at the iron force unfolds, unfolds, pearls itself into tenderness of bud, and in a great and sacred forthcoming steps forth, steps out in one stride. A naked tree of blossom, like a bridegroom buffing in dew, diverse of cover, frail naked, utterly uncovered, to the green night bane of a dog star, Etna snow aged wind, and January's loud seeming sun. Think of it, from the iron fastness, suddenly to dare to come out naked in perfection of blossom, beyond the sword rust. Think, to stand there in full unfolded nudity, smiling, 
with all the snow wind and the sun glare and the dog star bane epithalamian. Oh, honey bodied beautiful one, come forth from iron, red your heart is, fragile tender, fragile tender life body, more fearless than iron all the time, and so much prouder, so disdainful of reluctances. In the distance like hoar frost, like silvery ghosts communing on a green hill, hoar frost like and mysterious. In the garden rain out, with a body like spray, dawn tender, and looking about, with such insuperable softly smiling assurance, sword blade born, unpromised, no bounds being set, flaked out and come unpromised, the tree being life divine, fearing nothing, life blissful at the core, within iron and earth, knots of pink, fish silvery, in heaven, in blue, blue heaven, soundless, blissful, white ray, honey body, red at the core, red at the core, knotted in heaven upon the fine light, open, open, five times wide open, six times wide open, and given, and perfect, and red at the core, with the last so heartedness, so hearted looking.